Ugh, it's like Minecraft. It's awful. Just never pay attention to, to trees in this game. Trees are almost always ugly. I mean, look at that. Ugly trees. Oh dear. That's bad. That's bad. That's really bad. Don't hit it with your stick, Beatrice. And hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Dark Souls. Last episode, we got here to... Let's wait for the title card of the area to show up. Da, 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 da. Not sure how long it takes to show up, honestly. Da, 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 da. Yeah, this is this is awkward. There we go. Dark Root Basin. And right off the bat, you'll see down there there's a glowing thing. I'm gonna murder it. It's a crystal lizard. And we wanna kill it. You're getting away, mate. Yeah. This morning star's a way better weapon of choice to murder it with. There we go. Ooh, and a tiny chunk. Lovely. Make sure to try and kill those things. Just so you don't forget them later on, because all that, all that different Titanite that we drop can be extremely useful. But yeah, we're just going to make our way down to this basin, like I said. It's like a weird pit in the earth. And there's the undead... Oh yeah, here's the undead bug. This is what I wanted to show last episode. That's the undead bug. That's the bridge right there, which is pretty cool. You can actually, if you look down from the bridge, you can see this as well. Which is why this, this whole game is pretty cool. I want to use a longbow, some good arrows, and some leather armor. Useless to us, because we don't really use bows or anything at the moment. Although the longbow is better than the short bow. So if I do use a bow, I'll make sure to use the longbow. <sighs> but we're going to... We're going to go over there in a sec, but we're going to make our way back here, because there are a few things back here we want to get. And oh my god, you can hear it, can't you? There it is. Our, our old friend, a black knight. Hopefully this guy doesn't murder my face off. Because... This guy is one of the more dangerous ones. Halberd wielding one. The black knight Halberd is actually famous for being one of the... One of the best weapons in the game. And also being something that speedrunners always get. If you want to speedrun this game, you probably... Like, a lot of the runs actually end up using the Black Knight Halberd. Which is pretty funny. Unfortunately, again, I'm pretty sure it's not a guaranteed drop, as with most of the other Black Knight weapons. So... I think people have to, like, restart their run if they don't get it, which is pretty funny. Oh, wow, I actually parried that. There we go. Some of the attacks, the Black Knight... I think most of the time the Black Knights only have... Yeah, he didn't drop it. Only have, like, one easily parryable attack. I'm not sure which one that one has. And then the rest of them are kind of hard to parry, because they... For some reason, they have really weird timings to them. A lot of enemies have really weird timed attacks. Just to, like, throw off your parry timing, which is annoying. And that's the Grass Crush Shield. Again, a very popular shield. Low stability, not 100% physical resistance, better magic resistance. Heavier as well. But, old medium metal shield of unknown origin, the grass crest is slightly, Im is slightly imbued with magic, which slightly increases the speed of stamina recovery. Yep, this shield boosts your stamina recovery, which is actually insanely useful. A lot of builds aren't used to it due to it actually being rather light, and, you know, all sorts of other things. A really good shield, actually. I mean, even though it's not 100% physical, if you're not the sort to use your shield a lot, it's a really good shield to use just because it has a, like, kind of met bad sta uh, stability, but decent weight and a really useful effect and okay resistances all around. It's a really good shield to use. But I'm not going to use it because for once in my life I'm going to do a build that doesn't have it because I normally am one to use it on everything. And there's a lift over here that isn't here and you can't pull this. Actually, you can pull this. Oh yeah, this isn't one you need to activate. But we are not going to go down here. I'm not. It leads to... Do you, if you remember back earlier on, when we were down in the New Londo Ruins, there was that door that was locked. That goes down to, an, to this area, which is down here. And I'm not going down there yet because it's dangerous and not there's not anything useful down there for us at the moment. So I'm just going to sit at this bonfire. Also, I'm going to take a drink, because my throat's killing me. And there's nothing to shove in the box, I don't think. 
I'm not gonna bother kindling this bonfire because there's no point. Well, I might use it later on in the game, but for now, I want to kind of keep my humanity in my bosom, as the description says. Actually, no, it's the uh, stat. It's the stat. Look, so it's in the episode is like I have within my bosom. I don't know why that makes me laugh. Manika's bosom always meant butt to me, but I'm pretty sure it's just like. I don't even know what specifically bosom means. I've used I've heard it used in a lot of contexts. But I don't know. This is very interesting commentary. Talking about bosoms. But yes, yeah, so we're gonna come over here and What's that in the distance? What is that lovely thing? Oh my god, it's a hydra. Yeah, spoiler, we're not going over here yet, because look at that. Look at that. It's shooting things at us. It kills these golems in, like, one hit. We're not dealing with these golems or this giant snake man. Not yet. Technically, he's not that hard to beat, believe it or not. Neither are these golems. Boop, boop. They have insane resistance, though, which is, again, annoying. So many enemies with really high physical defense. Uh-oh. Yeah, there's an AoE. Which does curse. And magic damage. Annoying combination here. Yeah. Weirdly enough, these guys do an insane amount of damage with their punches. Oh my god, I nearly I thought I nearly walked off a cliff there. Whoa. Oh, that missed. I thought I was gonna hit. Oh my god. Yeah, I didn't actually plan on aggroing these guys. I'm lucky these don't keep hitting me. There we go. Yeah, this is annoying. It's going to take ages to kill these guys, and I didn't even plan on attacking them. These guys are just aggressive for no reason. Oh, I can't see anything. Blooming low-resolution trees. Power of the Xbox 360, ladies and gentlemen. Too fast, the same on PC. Oh my god. That ring has saved me a million times over. It really has. My recklessness knows no bounds. And if you are a smart little person, not little necessarily, but if you're smart, you remember we did actually get a key in the last episode. And it's not like, actually, here's that key. The Watchtower Basement Key. And it we're gonna use that to go in here. Would you this is a door you could open. Oh god. Oh yeah. Ugh. And now we gotta fight this guy. Oh my god. And just be aware. For most part, early in this game, this guy might as well be a one-hit kill machine. Also be aware that if you have the um uh what's it called? The Master Key, you can get hit right at the start of the game. And you might actually want to, because this guy actually has useful items. Be aware this guy's actually rather easy to parry. Again, I just don't have much confidence in my parry skills, specifically while I'm commentating as well. Look at that stamina. I know I said this thing doesn't have much stability, but still, this is a rather dangerous foe. Again, walk towards the weapon side, and it's way easier to avoid. Uh, oh my god, he like did like a full 60 degree, 360 degree like turn. I think there's some really funny gifs and like videos of people like thinking they're safe, and then he does like insanely fast turn. But yeah, and this is nearly over, so hopefully I don't muck this up. Just so you know, doing this with a plus zero weapon is entirely possible, but takes really, a really, really, really long time. I've done it, like, because there is an item, as I said, that this guy drops that's really useful. Which I will show now. Havel's Ring. The ring was named after Havel the Rock, Lord Gwyn's old battlefield compatriot. Havel's men wore the ring to express faith in their leading and to carry a heavier load. And this pretty much, if you look, I have 75 equip load maximum, which is like flash that really fast. And now I have 112. It adds like 
50%. It's a massive increase in weight load. And a large amount of builds rely on this to be able to roll, like, fast roll. Which I'm pretty sure I can do if I, if I put this on. Actually, can I? Oh, I just about can't because I've got this heavy armor on. Oh well. But yeah, a lot of builds rely on that ring to be able to, like, fast roll with, like, heavier armor on. It's an insanely OP ring, which if you get early in the game can allow you to wield some pretty heavy stuff really easily. So again, that's the reason loads of people come here as early as possible. And if you, sh I'll show you exactly where we are in a second. You'll recognize it when we go through this door. Aha, we're where the Taurus Demon is. And this is convenient for a few reasons. Take a sip. The main one being, we're actually going to want to go this way. Up to where the Taurus Demon is. Because, again, if you recall, back in the Undead Parish, we're going to ignore those crossbow guys up there. We picked up a key which allowed us to open up the door near the bridge. And that's where we're going to go now. I'm not sure if that key can be open, though that door can be open with the mask key. I'm not even... I've never even tried it. Pretty sure it's one of the keys, uh, the doors that can't. I keep saying keys instead of doors. Hello, Drake. But as you'll see, use the basement key. And also, is Celeste still over there? Yeah, he still is. What a bay. But yeah, be careful here. There's a long drop. Luckily, full damage isn't insane in this game, but I wouldn't test it. I mean, look at that. Who builds stuff like this? This is unsafe. We're going to nip down here. Because this is the next area we've got to go to. And again, I'm going to take a drink because I'm killing my throat here. I will apologize every time. We're down here in the lower Undead Burg, which doesn't have like a special fancy title card pop up to tell you that, but you do. And before anything, we're going to go over here and open this door finally, which takes us here. Oh, I'm going to try and kill these guys post haste. And we're going to rest that bonfire over there because I want to use up these souls. And I don't like to go all the way back to Dark Root. If it wasn't already obvious, though, Havel doesn't respawn. So don't. Oh my god. So don't worry about that. I'm just going to quickly run over here and sit. Oh, no, apparently not. And sit. Oh, my nose, for some reason I'm cold. It's not even that cold in it. And again, another point in endurance. Access spot on this box. Lower the grass cast crest shield. Solid. Okay. Now, we're going to make our way back down to where we were, which should be relatively easy. Again, you should always be aware of these shortcuts that you can get to. Oh my god, that was really dumb. I nearly like, launched myself off the edge. I wish I one-shot those guys, but most, for some reason most of the time, enemies in this game just survive on 1 HP. Maybe they just have higher defense when they're low on health. I don't know. But I have it so often where enemies just... Oh, I thought that was going to get stabbed in the back. Oh my god. Poke. Poke. There we go. As always, I have to do this in the worst way possible. We're going to make our way down here. Oh my god, no, down the stairs. Yeah, right, there's like... Hit, so you want to be careful. Again, this place is built really unsafely. This game's going to give me a heart attack one of these days. And we get down here to the best enemies in the game. I call them hitbox dogs. They're in Dark Souls 2 as well, thank, thank goodness. And basically, if they do an attack, they're basically always going to hit you. Because they have really stupid hitboxes. And I hate them. So having a 100% resistance, uh, physical resistance shield is very much appreciated. So look at all those bodies being burnt. Not sure why they're burning bodies or how long those bodies have been burning for. But whatever. We're going to make our way over here first and foremost, even though that is the direction we want to go. 
because there's a couple of things. First Somebody, off, please let me out of here. Somebody, anybody, help me. Unlock the door. Damn, I'm finished. How did this ever happen? And you use the resident key, which we got right at the start of the game. And funnily enough, I think this is one of the doors you can't open with the uh, master key. So be aware that that's the, the only way you can save this guy is to um, is to have the residence key, even if you've got the master key. Brilliant. I'm going to talk to him. You opened the door for me. Thank you. I'm saved. I thought I might never escape. I am Griggs of Vinheim, a sorcerer of the school. I am much obliged for your assistance. Thanks to you, I may now resume my travels. Oh, hello. I'm fine. I will rest a while, then return to Firelink Shrine. I have my sorcery. And I will be more cautious next time. Besides, I have an important task at hand. Oh, hello. I'm, I have my... Yes, yeah, so it's safe now. Pillage this corpse, and you get Sorcerer's Set and the Sorcerer's Catalyst, which allows you to cast spells. So that's pretty useful. Also, it's funny is that this um, body is inside a barrel with a top on it, but as you can clearly see, this bar that barrel there, there's actually a barrel that doesn't have a top on it, like a model for it. So why they put it inside the barrel that does have a top on it, I don't know. Maybe it was annoying to put him behind Griggs. But whatever, we're just going to leave him here because eventually he will leave. Yeah, most NPCs don't ever move if you're there for some reason. Oh, this. Ugh. Torch Hollow's most OP enemy in this game. Yeah, that attack right there, where he rushes you, is basically death if you're not avoiding it. Luckily, these guys, because they're like bare naked, they, um, what's the word? They have like no defense. But also, they do an insane amount of damage if you're not blocking. For some reason, the torches just have an insanely high damage. I have no idea why of all weapons, torches do loads of damage. So yeah, I'm just going to take loads of fire chip damage. And we get twin humanities for our troubles, which is pretty good, actually. Twin humanities are useful. Give you two humanities instead of one in one go. Pretty, pretty damn good. And I'm probably going to end this off in a sec. Just because we're here. It's all good. One thing I'm going to show, though, is that there are enemies behind this door. And you can actually hit them through the door. Sometimes you can even, like, one-shot them. But, unfortunately, we cannot. So I will just be a cheap little bum. It just takes them all down to, like, no health. And as you'll see, there you go. The door's open. These guys will run out. Oh, they both Estus as well. That's cheating. Oh, well, they're at, like, half health. Bam. Yeah, these guys have... They can, like, parry. They can, like, backstab you. They're, um, hollow thieves, I think they're called. So be aware that they can do all sorts of crazy stuff. And they're rather... And they also throw knives as well. Rather annoying enemies, but there's only a few of them. So there's no trouble. You get the Mail Breaker, which is probably one of the worst weapons in the game. It's a thrusting sword, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And it can thrust one well, very very effective for critical attacks. Basically, it does loads of damage with backstabs and reposts. But that's about it. It's like really low damage, really low scaling. It's rubbish. You look at that 57 base damage, and then like it's DC scaling. Oh, this has like DC scale, but even when it gets like leveled up to full, it still has really bad scaling. Also, something of note, which is really ugly looking, is that the... Wait a sec. Is that... If as soon as I actually work out what I'm doing, look. The weapon type. Thrusting sword, it overlaps. Ugh. Why would they do that? Should have just shortened it. And I'm just going to go through this last little bit of the area. There's another part where they ambush you right here, but unfortunately, there's no way to attack them through the door before you do, because they just kick you down the door straight away. And we're just going to be safe and shield poke them a lot. Because again, I'm not sure you can be parried while you're shield poking. That's the bleed meter right there. These knives inflict bleed. Also, the dogs inflict bleed as well. So be aware. 
I'm gonna be I'm kinda being cheap about this. These guys also have a decent amount of like defense to considering. Ow. Considering they're just like uh thieves with like light armor. Oh, I meant to attack this guy. Oh yeah, there we go. That did a lot of damage. Pook. And there we go. Dead. And what does this message say? Gorgeous for you. Thank you. And I'm pretty sure that's most of what we can do this episode. Just gonna quickly nab. Oh god, there's a dog. I forgot there's one more dog. Yeah, there's two dogs hiding around the corner. <coughs> Oopsie. Sorry for coughing. And you get their, like, it's not their armor. I think they have, like, hollow grove or hollow feet armor or something. But this armor, black leather armor, is actually really good light armor. It's got really high defense for, um... I mean, look at this defense. It's like... It's like 10 less than what we got. Bit, bit less than that. And it's got good magic and lightning defense and such, and poison resistance. And it only weighs like a third. It's really good armor. If you don't mind lacking poise, that is. And also off this, we'll get a... Oh wow, a whole large soul lost undead just for us. But yeah, with that said and done, that's all for this episode. Join us in the next episode while we'll be going through this fog door and fighting us ever over there. Bet it'll be fun. But until then, see ya.